Welcome to Korean Expat channel. Hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. Hi everyone. Uh, thanks for swinging by my channel. Today I'll talk about Korean delivery systems and delivery apps. Delivery systems in Korea goes way back to 1768. The record says royal people ordered naengmyeon, which was an uh, exclusive cuisine back then. There also was an ad post on a newspaper named Mansebo on a year 1906, saying we'll deliver food for your special events cheap. We don't mind delivering far either. In 70s, we would start up the morning with fresh newspaper delivered and milk and yogurt. I remember having milk and yogurt delivered every day to my home as a youngster. In 1990s, many Chinese people started moving to Incheon area and settled, and the famous Korean Chinese food jajangmyeon, aka black bean noodle, came out to the world. Chinese food in Korea, just like in US or any other countries, is known to be the king of the delivery food. In 1950s, with the phrase Shinsokbeda, which means quick delivery, Chinese restaurants in Korea started their delivery system, which they deliver hot food on an actual real plates and bowls, and then they would come back in an hour or two to recollect those dishes. So people actually was able to have fresh hot food anywhere, and all they had to do is to leave the dirty dishes outside, and delivery guys would come back and pick those dirty dishes up. This trend still continues in some areas, but mostly they use disposable wares nowadays so they wouldn't have to go back to the delivery place again to pick up the dishes. But with the drastic raise of minimum wage in Korea, restaurants couldn't keep up with their own delivery guy. Therefore, delivery agencies appeared. So, instead of hiring a delivery man, restaurants use delivery agencies to hire delivery guy order by order now. In fact, delivering system in Korea has changed drastically after delivering apps like Pedariminjo, aka Pemin, or Yogi. You guys can probably relate this with the Yelp app if you are from US or basically um, any other Western countries, or even you guys have Uber Eats now, right? Um, customers now can leave or read different reviews with actual pictures and all, and this obviously changed the whole spectrum of the market. We used to look for brochures or just save a sticker with the phone number of the restaurant and we would actually make a call to order food. But now with delivery apps, with just few touches of fingertips, you can order any food anywhere at any time. Of course, you guys have Uber Eats and all, but I'm saying Korea had this kind of delivery system for over decades. And plus, for foreigners who knows little or no Korean, no problemo. We can see the food with a picture, put your credit card information, you click, and done. So the app I mostly use is Yogio, and as you can see from Wikipedia, uh, this German company, Delivery Hero, actually took over Yogio, and it was the biggest delivering app, Pedare Minjo. Uh, they also bought that company as well. So it says here, we have four different apps here. Uh, one here is Pedare Minjo, and this one is Yogio. Uh, Tong, which which Delivery Hero bought as well, as you can see here. So these three are the major applications we use in Korea. And there also is Coupon Eats. Uh, Coupon is at, like Amazon in Korea. They do uh, their own uh, merchandising or shopping systems as well. But anyhow, we'll talk about Yogio uh, today. All right, so now I'm gonna open up my phone here. So when you open up your phone, okay, I actually have Yogio installed on the background. Here. So if I click this, then here it appears my address. So you could punch in any new addresses so you could get it delivered. And they have a variety of kinds of food here. This is a whole everything, Yogio Plus, which are, um, I guess they pay to be exposed in front page. So Chinese food, okay. Pizza and Western food, Korean food. Bunshik is like uh, like mostly kimbap and tteokbokki, okay, cafe and dessert, and then chokbal and bossam. Chokbal is chokbal is pig feet, and bossam is like um, steamed samgyeopsal, steamed pork belly. Japanese food and uh, katsu, pork cutlets. Okay, so I'm gonna press one of these, and you could actually see different kind of food, and they all have pictures, and uh, it has reviews. They, they have actual pictures of the food. Okay. Night Craving says franchise. And in franchise, you have, you know, Pizza Hut as well. 
So <clears throat> you can see different kind of pizza and Pizza Hut reviews, actual pictures. You actually have convenience store and a mart. So they have CU and GS25 mostly here. And and Home Plus as well here. Yeah. So if you have uh, if you press Home Plus here, they got you know different things. Like they have like 457 items here. And they got kimchi, yogurt, food, and they have different whole different sections, and you could just kind of touch and order everything. 